friends welcome to our channel today we will create a program to shut down our computer using voice commands so for this we need three modules two are external modules which we need to install and uh, one is os module which is inbuilt okay so let's install the external modules go to the terminal and type pip install pywtsx3 okay hit enter and the second module is speech recognition so just type speech recognition hit enter and the third module is os module which is input okay so now let's import the modules using import OS and PY TSX3 okay and uh, import speech recognition H S R okay so now we will be creating two methods so first method will be to you know recognize the sound which we will be producing or you can say the user will be producing and uh, return the sound okay if there is not any problem okay in in our sound so generally the function will take our commands so let's name it as take commands okay now we will initialize the speech recognition module using sr dot recognizer Okay. Now we will open our physical microphone of the computer using with sr dot microphone edge source. Now as we have opened the you know microphone or the physical microphone of our computer so we are now ready to listen anything okay so the same thing we will tell our user that we are listening now okay so now we will wait for some time using our dot pause threshold which is journey generally equals to 0 0.7 sorry 0 0.8 so let's see what this so this is you know the seconds of non speaking audio before our phrase is complete considered complete okay so now let's move forward and uh, now we will listen to the audio and uh, we'll store the audio into audio variable okay so just type audio equals so to listen the audio we will type r dot listen okay and inside this we will use source okay now there can be some problems with the you know uh, these type of programs like the recognition and speaking okay so we will use the try and accept so that the our program will will run without any problems okay or without any errors so we will type print recognizing so this will indicate the user that uh, we have listened to the you know audio which the user has speak now the program is recognizing user's sound okay or audio okay so we will store the audio which uh, was you know spoken spoken by the user as query okay query equals r dot recognize google and inside this audio so we are actually 
you know recognizing the audio which was you know spoken by the user and are storing it as the query okay so we will now print the query which uh, you know is spoken by the user so the query is query okay so if there are any errors then we will accept them as accept exception h e and uh, will print the errors using print e okay and as there are errors so we will ask the user to speak whatever they speak again okay so we will ask the user to say that again sir okay so you will return as nothing because nothing happens with the sound which the user spoke okay inside the accept block so now we will use the import time to import the time and uh, will you know stop the program for some time like uh, silly for 1 second or you can say 2 seconds and will return the query if there is not any problem okay with the sound spoken by the user okay so this function was you know to take commands or you know to listen the user okay so this is similar to like the ears of human beings now we will create the speak function so that our program can speak okay so we will type speak and inside this we will pass a u d i o audio okay so for this we will use you know this py double t s x 3 so just type engine equal py double t s x 3 dot init to initialize this module okay so to use our engine to say something we will type engine dot say okay so inside this say anything you will you know pass will be spoken by the speak function okay so we will pass the audio which we have received inside the function and after that we will wait okay dot run and wait okay so this this function is to speak and uh, you know this function is to listen okay and uh, you know recognize and listen so now let's move forward and uh, create the menu driven program or you know to combine these you know is these two functions so let let us first use the speak function and uh, we will pass as uh, you know we will ask ask the user to uh, whether the user want to shut down the computer or not okay so let's say do you want to shut down the computer okay so let's now test the program Do you want to shut down the computer? So the program is working fine. Okay. So let's move forward and uh, we will now run a while loop. Okay. While true. And uh, let's say we will use, you know, create a command function. Okay. command equals and uh, inside this 
uh, we will store the voice using the take command function okay so we will ask so as as we will you know use this take command function uh, the program will come to this take command function and uh, the recognizer will start and uh, the, we will ask the user to uh, you know say something uh, as we will print that we are listening now okay so user will uh, say something and the you know our recognizer will recognize the user's audio and uh, if there are not any errors then it will return all that audio you know without any errors okay so as we have the audio okay it will be stored in the command uh, command variable so now we will use this command variable so let's move forward and type if exit in command so what we want we will you know say that okay sir let me exit okay so if there is you know yes in command then uh, we will speak that okay sir thank you computer will be shut down now okay now if there is no in command then uh, you know we will say in command then we will speak that okay sir no problem okay so now let's check the program whether it's working fine or not now let's you know for the exit we will use the break so that if some if the user said that i want to exit then the while loop will get break and the same thing here so now uh, here we don't need to do this because the uh, because uh, here we want our program to do something okay so to get shut down we need to use os module and uh, after the os we need to type system and inside the system we will type shutdown s and t30 okay so now let's uh, check whether the program is working fine or not do you want to shut down the computer mm, there are some problems so let's check in line 30 in line 6 yeah there is you know some brackets left so let's run the program again do you want to shut down the computer? No, I don't want to shut down the computer. Okay, sir, no problem. So it's working fine, right? So now let's check again. Do you want to shut down the computer? I want to exit from the program. Okay, sir, let me exit. So it's again working fine now, uh, but uh, if I said yes, then the program will get shut down. Okay, so I'm not using this. So thank you friends for watching the video. See you in the next videos.